She wanted to do some good in this world. 23-year-old Tiana Smith was enrolled in college, learning how to help handicapped children. She dreamed of one day working at Kennedy Krieger. It was a dream she was working hard to reach. Tiana was a loving, caring person. She would give you a heart. Until someone took her life. On the night of November 5th, 2005, Tiana was working at the McDonald's in Cockeysville, where she was a manager. She worked a good distance away from where she lived, and she rode several buses, including the light rail, um, and then kept, caught another bus to connect home. That night, the light rail line she normally took was down, so Tiana left work early, around 11, to catch a bus to the Metro Center, where she hoped to catch another bus home. A friend from work rode with her most of the way, but eventually left to catch his own bus home, leaving Tiana to wait at this stop on the corner of Fayette and Utah. It was then that a white four-door car pulled up, and witnesses say a man inside called out to Tiana. At some point, the front passenger rolled her window down and turned uh, almost back towards the bus stop where she would have been and called out to her. The, the witness thinks that they called her by name. Tiana hesitantly approached the car, had a brief conversation with the three people inside, and eventually climbed into the back seat. A city watch camera panning the area caught glimpses of what happened. I see the video, uh, the, the camera swing past the bus stop and she's standing there and there's the white car. The camera swings back around after it's automated patrol and she's gone and the white car's gone and you almost feel like you can reach into the video and, and say don't, don't get in that car. A few hours later, a woman's screams are heard in a quiet neighborhood in Woodlawn. It's now about 1.15 in the morning. They believe that what she was yelling was no or stop several times. And then that voice stopped calling out and uh, she was discovered the next morning. Tiana's body was found lying next to a backyard patio by some children playing ball on Fox Meadow Road. Teresa Wooden was home worrying while all this happened. Tiana never came home from work, and it wasn't like her daughter not to call. Doorbell rang, it rang about 9.30, that's all I see on it. It's the police telling me that she was murdered. Fort Lucia always say she was in the hospital, not dead. Police say it took months for them to identify a single witness in this case, a woman who was waiting on the same bus as Tiana, a woman who says the hair on the back of her neck raised up when she saw Tiana getting into that car. She didn't find out until much later what happened to her. Now investigators believe there may be more witnesses out there who saw the same thing, who to this day don't realize they might have saw Tiana's final moments before her brutal murder. There had to be people at the bus stop who saw her get in that car who might know something more about that car or the people in it. Detective Edwards believes there is one killer in this case. He says he's not even sure all the people in the white car even knew what happened to Tiana. What he does know is that there are more witnesses and the time for them to come forward is now. Putting this information out there might just be the first time that a witness realizes what happens and realizes that the information that they have means something. For Tiana's mother, every day is a struggle living on the edge, constantly wondering who and why. That's why I don't trust no one. And, I, and, and it's a hard thing to do, but I can't trust people no more after my daughter was murdered. After six years have passed, she hangs on to the belief that even if her daughter's killer is never found by police, he's already been caught by a higher power. You can run, but you can't hide. Because that day you took my daughter's life, and he was already caught, but you didn't realize it. In Woodlawn, Jeff Hager, ABC2 News. All right, let's help Tiana's family out right now. You heard Detective Edwards asking for witnesses to come forward, and if you are one of those people, grab a pen. You can call the Baltimore County Cold Cases Squad directly. The number is 410-887-3943. Now, if you'd rather help and remain anonymous, you can call Metro Crime Stoppers, one 8667 lockup or you can also submit a tip online at metrocrimestoppers.org